Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Hana Academy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. My dear students, this particular session is for all the Neat 2024 and even 2025 aspirants. Because in this particular session, I'm going to let you know exactly how you need to do your chemistry properly in order to score really high in your chemistry as far as your need examination is concerned. All the pointers which I'm going to let you know in the today's session which is approximately going to be for five to six minutes, right? All those points you have to consider, follow them properly. I'm 100% sure in this preparation phase, you are going to be guided properly. And at the same time, you will shoot up your ranks as far as the subject chemistry is concerned in the NEET 2024 or even 2025 examination, right? First of all, Chemistry is one of the scoring subjects as far as the NEET examination is concerned. You know it already, right? After your biology, it is the chemistry which is the most scoring subject. So more the marks you get in chemistry, better is going to be your rank. Just keep this thing in your mind all the time, right? Because there is one thing in chemistry, if you read a particular chapter properly, you will be easily solving all the questions if asked from that particular chapter. Right? That is one thing guaranteed as far as the subject chemistry is concerned. Now, dear students, since it is the, it is the high weightage, right? It is the high weightage subjects as far as the need examination is concerned. So, as I told you already, more the marks you get in chemistry, better is going to be your rank. Right? So, in order to score really high in chemistry, I would want all of you to keep the target in the mind all the time. And what is this target going to be? 180 out of 180 in chemistry should be your target first of all. My dear students, if you exactly keep 180 target in your chemistry, then only you can land into 160, 170 category as far as the chemistry is concerned. Right? Perfect. And I've seen people getting 180 out of 180 in chemistry. It's not a big deal. Let me tell you that honestly. You would have seen your NEET 2023 paper, NEET 2022 paper. Chemistry has been always the moderate one. Right? It always belongs to easy to moderate category. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard as far like your physics, right? That's why again, I'm telling you it is the most scoring subject after your biology as far as the NEET examination is concerned. So the first and the most important point, you have to keep your target really high. 180, you have to keep the target. Then only you can land into the category of 160, 170 easily. And 160, 170 in chemistry, that is more than sufficient if you want a good rank in the NEET examination. Point number one. Point number two. Follow a proper sequence of the chapters. What I've seen in majority of the students, they exactly don't know what sequence they should follow as far as the different chapters of chemistry are concerned. For example, there will be a particular set of students who will be directly going into hydrocarbons without touching GOC. That's a, that's a failed strategy. There will be students who will be directly going into thermodynamics without studying states of matter. That's again a failed strategy. There will be students who will be directly jumping into equilibrium without doing the mole concept. So my dear students following a proper sequence of the chapters, that's equally important when it comes to getting good score uh, in the subject chemistry, right? So first of all, start from the basics. For example, if you are studying physical chemistry, start with the mole concept, then you can go to the redox reactions, right? Then you can go to states of matter, thermodynamics, equilibrium, then you can jump into your solution. Similarly, you can jump into electrochemistry, kinetics, etc. So following a proper sequence of chapters, that's very, very, very important. Right? Number one. Number two. Number two. Look at this particular point, my dear students. Clear the concepts and then go to the questions. One more important thing which majority of the students, they do not follow. Without clearing the foundation, without clearing the basics, they directly jump into the question. And they are unable to solve the questions by means of which they get depressed. I would suggest you guys avoid that particular thing. First, make your foundation strong, make your basics strong, then you can jump into the questions properly in a proper sequence, basically, right? Now, how to solve the questions? This is one more important thing, which majority of the students might be getting in their mind all the time, right? So my dear students, you have to follow proper sequence in question solving as well. What does that mean? After studying a particular topic of a particular chapter, right? Open your DPPs or whatever module you guys are following, right? Start with the basic questions. Start with level 1 questions. Once you are done with level 1, right? Then go to level 2 questions. Then go to level 3 questions. It's not like that you'll be studying a particular topic and directly you'll be solving the advanced questions. No, you are not going to do that as well. 
my dear students in order to solve the questions you have to follow the sequence properly level one questions should be done first if you are done solving all the level one questions then go to level two and if you get time then go to level three as well right so following a particular sequence in the question solving that is again very 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 important majority of the students they directly jump into j mains questions without solving the need questions right due to which their foundation again remains immatured right it does not mature basically perfect you do not feel confident when it comes to your foundation questions so clear your foundation questions first then you can go to the higher level questions as well yeah at the same time high weighted chapters they are supposed to be prioritized now you must be thinking what are the high weighted chapters in chemistry that's something which i'll be telling you in some time right now a lot of students must be thinking how to do the chapters of chemistry how to memorize everything how to remember everything how to do the practice etc etc what kind of strategy we have to follow in order to complete a particular chapter as you know your chemistry it is basically divided into three categories physical chemistry in organic chemistry and organic chemistry my dear students let me tell you out of all these three sections this is the most scoring subject this is the most scoring section of your chemistry how do you do your inorganic first of all select a particular set of teachers that's something which i keep on telling you all the time right when you start studying a chapter in inorganic chemistry start with the lectures right once you are done with the lecture do the ncrt reading of the same topics which your teacher has taught you right after that go for note making make the notes of your lectures as well as the important points which you have got from ncrt and at the end your deep pps and pyqs they are enough if you follow only these four points my dear students that is more than sufficient as far as your inorganic chemistry is concerned because majority of the questions in in inorganic in chemistry they are directly asked from the ncrt you can consult from the past 5 year 6 year 7 year uh, papers of your neat examination you won't find a single question right which was not not directly asked from your ncrt as far as the as far as the inorganic chemistry section is concerned now when you talk about physical physical is all about the concept building right see i would not suggest you guys to directly go for ncrt in all the three parts no do not consult your ncrt directly without seeing the lecture your lectures they play a vital role in order to understand the ncrt ncrt if you want to have the better understanding of the ncrt you have to follow the lectures first once you are done with the lecture right then you can read your ncrt right then you can do the note making whatever are the in text questions right as far as the physical chemistry portion is concerned do those in in text questions as well as far as the ncrt is concerned and at the end the rest of the things are same your dpps and pyqs at the end why everywhere i'm telling you follow the pyqs right because following pyqs that gives you the clear cut understanding of the chapter that gives you the idea about like what are the most important topics which have been frequently asked in a particular chapter right that is the main motive of basically solving the pyqs and by solving the pyqs you'll become confident you'll you'll get that confidence in you that now i'm able to solve the previous year questions right that confidence automatically builds up once you start solving the pyqs and my dear students when it comes to organic a proper sequence has to be followed in the organic do not jump again i'm telling you without goc your entire organic chemistry is incomplete so try to complete try to give maximum time to your general organic chemistry my dear student maximum time right general organic chemistry it it, it forms the foundation of your basically organic chemistry without goc your entire organic chemistry is incomplete so try to make this general organic chemistry as strong as possible i must suggest you right because if your goc is strong then only your entire organic chemistry can become strong otherwise it can never become strong my dear students and follow the same pattern goc hydrocarbons then go to your class 12th organic or whatever sequence is given in your ncrt you'll be following the same sequence that is the best sequence as far as the organic chemistry syllabus completion is concerned right so my dear students how to do this organic again your lectures the most important ones after following the lectures do the ncrt reading after doing the ncrt reading do the note making here also followed by i mean watch your lectures read the ncrt then do the note making in the note making what exactly why you are going to write whatever your teacher has taught you in the lecture followed by whatever important points you have got from a particular topic in ncrt just write them in the notes and followed by dpps and pyqs right this is again the same which is almost everywhere right perfect now my dear students there are few more things which you must be thinking like how to do right 
So I was right now talking about how to do the chapters, how to complete the chapters basically. Apart from that, apart from that, once you are done uh, completing one particular chapter, once you are done watching lectures of a particular chapter, note making is done, NCRT reading is done from that chapter, DPPs are done, PYQs are done. At the end, at the end, just write one mock test of that particular chapter. By writing the mock test, you'll analyze your weaknesses and strengths again from a particular chapter, right? And this is going to give you the idea about the time management as well, right? This is going to make you exam friendly. That is again, one most important point when it comes to your NEET examination, right? Majority of the students, they fail because they do not understand exactly how to manage time, right? And managing time, you can only get by writing as many chapter-wise mock tests as possible, right? And my dear students, a lot of students might, must be thinking, should we solve only NEET PYQs or JE PYQs? You should be also solving. I would suggest you guys, since in every NEET paper, almost, almost there'll be 20 to 30% paper in which, I mean, 20 to 30% questions will be there, which will be directly copied and pasted from the JE mains previous year questions, right? It's not the data will be same, pattern will be the same, right? But those types of questions would be already asked in the JE mains. So I would suggest you guys to solve at least 10 to 15 year PYQs of your NEET as well as JE mains, right? Do not jump into JE advanced. That's not your cup of tea. You're not supposed to waste your time in order to solve the advanced questions. Just your NEET PYQs and JE mains PYQs, they are more than sufficient. Now, again, one more point, you must be thinking, what are the high weighted chapters? What are the high weighted chapters which you should focus on more? High weighted chapters are the ones from which two to three questions are asked everywhere in your NEET, every year in your NEET examination. And the high weighted chapters are your thermodynamics, equilibrium, chemical bonding, general organic chemistry, hydrocarbons, electrochemistry, LDHID, ketones, carboxylic acids, kinetics, coordination, haloalkanes, haloarenes. My dear students, if you do these chapters with 100% honesty, with 100% problem solving, right? If you finish all the questions, all the DPPs, all the PYQs of this, these particular chapters, I must say 120 marks are guaranteed in chemistry by only following these particular chapters, right? So try to do these chapters with 100% honesty. Try to solve the entire module in these particular chapters because again, I'm telling you, these are very, very, very high weighted chapters. Do not skip them at all. And a lot of students who are following us on Academy Need English, on YouTube, you must be thinking what are the what are going to be the chapters which I'll be covering on this chat on this channel in this particular month. Now let me tell you the plan for the August month, which I shall be following on this particular cha channel. My dear students, still now on YouTube, we are done with mole concept. I'm done with mole concept, right? States of matter is done, redox reaction is done, thermodynamics is done, chemical equilibrium is done, solids is done. These are like six chapters which we are done with till now. And one more, chemical bonding. That's also done and dusted on this particular channel itself. You can check it out under the banner Neat Conquer Badge, right? Now, what are the chapters which I shall be doing in this particular month? Let me tell you tomorrow, I'll be doing ionic equilibrium in one shot. If not in one shot, then maximum two sessions I'll take to complete ionic equilibrium. I would want every one of you to join the session tomorrow at 6 p.m., right? Ionic equilibrium. After ionic equilibrium, I'll be doing the chemical kinetics. Right, and after chemical kinetics, I shall be finishing electrochemistry as well in this month on electrochemistry, right? And after electrochemistry, it's going to be solutions, which I shall be doing in this particular month. And at the same time, your HSV sir, he'll be completing haloalkanes and haloarenes, right? In this particular month, apart from that, he'll be doing the aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids as well. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are six chapters which we shall be completing on an Academy Need English channel in this particular month, my dear students. And let me tell you, these are all these chapters are high weightage chapters only. And let me tell you, after finishing these six chapters, which we do in detail on this particular channel, all the concepts, all the problem patterns, everything is done and dusted on YouTube itself. You know it if you are the regular student of the Need Conquer Batch on this particular Need English channel, right? And at the same time, again, I'm telling you. If you complete these six chapters in this particular month, that means you're scoring 80 marks for sure in chemistry. Like it'll be 60 to 80, you'll be completing in this particular month. And I would want all of you to follow the sessions with 100% honesty. So let's catch up tomorrow at 6 p.m. sharp and let's complete the ionic equilibrium. And what are backlogs do you have kept, right? So those backlogs, you can, I mean, you can finish them off. You can complete them when you get time, right? When you get time, even on Sundays, or the time which in which there'll be no YouTube sessions on this particular channel 
in that particular time duration in that particular time frame you can definitely right follow you can definitely complete your backlogs as well so this was a very small strategy which i would i i wanted to share with you so that you can easily score really high as far as the subject chemistry is concerned for the need 2024 or even 2025 right it was nice catching up with you let's see let's see you all guys tomorrow at 6 pm till then you take care god bless you all and love you all bye guys take care